Hello crafty friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Roxanne at craftwagon.ca and today I'm going to share with you my pretty in pink panda birthday card and we will be featuring the Party Pandas stamp set that is available in the Celebrations catalog. When you order $60 worth of product, you can get this set for free. So let's get started. The supplies you will need for today's card is the Party Panda stamp set, the softly falling textured embossing folder, the balloon bouquet stamp, uh, balloon bouquet punch, the scallop tag punch. You will also need your Versamark ink pad, embossing buddy, and white embossing powder, basic black archival ink, powder pink stampin' pad, and berry burst stampin' pad. The paper supplies you will need is Whisper White cardstock. I cut this one at four and a quarter by 11 and then folded it in half. And then you will need a piece of powder pink cut at four by five and a quarter. And we're going to emboss that with the textured embossing folder, the softly falling one. And then you will need a piece of white cut at four and a quarter by two inches, and then it's going to become the tag. So we're going to do all the decoration on here and make this into a tag. And then also a piece of the glitter paper in silver to cut out the balloon. And for the ribbon, I'm using the Berry Burst ribbon and the basic twine in black, or basic black Baker's twine. And then also a piece of black and I cut that at about half an inch by about four. We're gonna trim that up for the greeting. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tag here and we're going to ink up our panda. And I'm using the one with the balloon. So you wanna get a good, good inking on that. So I just keep flipping it over to make sure that I've got good coverage where the panda is. And then I'm going to stamp him closer to the bottom because remember we're going to do that scallop punch at the top. Now if you wanted to, you could go ahead and cut that first and then you'll know kind of where to line that up. So then the next thing is I'm going to add in the um, little bit of glitter. So we'll grab the berry burst and I'm just tapping it in the ink and I'm turning that and sometimes I'm stamping off as well and then I'm going to clean that off and then I'm going to grab the powder pink ink and do the same and just remember to turn it it's kind of random Okay, so that's that done. And then we'll get the scallop punch. So, so for this one here, I'm going to slide it in this way. And then I'm going to turn it over just to make sure that I'm not actually going to cut the panda or any part of his balloon and stuff. So that's good. That turned out good. Like that. And so, for this part here, what I did was I took the berry burst. This is about four inches, roughly, cut. You're going to trim that up after when you're done. So I'm sliding this berry burst ribbon through this hole here. And then I'm going to take the basic black baker's twine and make a bow. And because I'm left-handed, I find that if I turn it upside down, then my bows look right side up. So there you go. And then I trim, I'm going to trim that off a little bit here on an angle like that. And so that part's done. And then the next part we want to do is the happy birthday greeting. And so for this card here, I have it flagged here. So you could have the happy birthday end this way or the other way. It depends on you know, what you like. So we're going to just wipe that with the embossing buddy. Bring in our happy birthday greeting here. Ink that up. And just put that down. I'm going to put it kind of in the middle. I have a good amount of paper there so 
I haven't decided which way I want that greeting to go today. I'm going to bring in my white embossing powder and just get that on there. Usually I have a spoon or something. Here we go. Make it a little bit easier. There you go. And just uh, tap that in and then give it a little flick to make sure you get all the extra off. And I'm going to go take that to the heat gun, the heat tool, and heat that up. Okay, so there we go. That's all heat set, ready to go. And so today I think I want to make this side flat. So I'm going to cut that straight and then trim off a bit here. And then I'm going to flag it going this way. Just Again, you can do it either way. So there's my flag like that. And so now we're going to assemble the card. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but you need three rhinestones from the basic jewels. And so there's our softly falling embossed image there. And today I'm going to just glue this down. It works really well with a fast fuse when you're using the bossing folder. And of course I want to I want this to be flat as well. Just because I'm planning on mailing this card and if you add dimensionals on the this part and this part, then it starts to get a little bit bulky and then they charge you extra at the post office for that. But I do want the greeting to be bumped up and I want the balloon to be raised as well. So I'm adding dimensionals here on the back for the greeting and I'm using the mini dimensionals which are great for these small banner greetings that I like to do. And so I'm going to have this one kind of to the edge of the, of the powder pink and just kind of going over a little bit over, over the panda a little bit there. And then for the rhinestones I just put three kind of randomly over here just to give it a little bit of a shiny bling. And then for the balloon, I went ahead and cut it out with the balloon bouquet. And I used the smallest balloon punch there. I didn't want to do, I did it off camera. It's pretty loud when you use the glitter paper. It's quite thick, so it makes a really loud sound. So, so there's the balloon. And then what I'm doing is I'm just covering up where I have that other balloon stamp. So I'm covering that up so you can't see it. But it looks like he, now he has this beautiful glittery balloon. So there's the cards today. So there's one with it on this side and one of it on this side. I hope you enjoyed watching this video today and get a chance to make this pretty and pink panda card. I really had a lot of fun making it. Be sure to leave a comment at below to let me know if you'd like to see some more videos done with this cute little party panda stamp set. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.